Hi, welcome to Let's Talk Possibility. And we're with episode number 20. And tonight we're discussing your personal why and how that can make your existence on planet Earth that much better. You know, really, why do you wake up in the morning and do what you do? And we're going to be discussing this with Andrew and Cindy. And uh, we look forward to you joining us for the rest of the talk in a short while. Thanks. Hello and welcome to the show Let's Talk Possibility, where we talk about what is possible in this world with some exciting guests every week. We want to explore tonight um, a bit more about is it possible to love our jobs? I'm your host, Talana Simpson, and with me is Jono. Hi, my name is Jono. And we have our lovely guest. We have Andrew Bazaar, an entrepreneur who loves his work. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, and Cindy Bell from Career Directions. Hi. Nice He's to a be careers here. coach. That's me. Yeah, so we hear so much of, I hear from my friends, some from my clients, from our family members, how we, we just hate our job. Oh, I gotta go, I gotta get up again. It's Monday. It's Monday's blues every every day <laughs> until the weekend, and then Sunday's is bad. Yeah, <laughs> and, it's, and it's a lot of people just working to pay the bills. They, it, same old mundane routine, just getting it done because they need the money at the end of the month to, to do that. To pay the debt, and so they can start the cycle again. So they can start it all over again. So we were looking at what Confucius says. Choose a job you love and you'll never have to work a day in your life. And funny enough, a few weeks ago, I was at a, a cocktail party and we were having a chat with Andrew and he started telling us, well, someone asked, you know, are you doing your dream job? You know, do you really love what you do? <laughs> and you're like, I think, well, you two besides me, but you're the only one who's like, yeah. That was quite surprising, uh, they, actually. You know, I saw people like, looking at me going, what's, what's wrong what's with wrong you? Crazy? <laughs> 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 so that, that obviously piqued, piqued my interest because... Yeah. Yeah, not everyone can actually say that, that they're enjoying what they, they're doing. You're one of the, the few people I've met who, who does that. Mm. So the pilot story came out, and you, know, you were sharing earlier how you, you've been in a shop, you know, you've worked for corporates and that, you've even invented a, a bodyboard, you corrected me, a bodyboard that helps you surf the waves in the sea. Do you want to tell us from, from there? So, you, Sana, you were saying, you were, like, what your story is, how did you get from there to be able to now say what you're doing now and be says. Yeah, so um, let's start with what I do now, which is uh, black economic empowerment consulting. And no one can say they were born and coming out of the womb saying, I want to be a BE consultant. <laughs> <you know? laughs> that's me. That, that wasn't, that's not something that people do. So, so um, how is it possible that this can be the, 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 the job that keeps me... Um, uh, not concerned about getting up in the morning or going to sleep, and actually, for, for me, the sleep is a pain. I, I wish I couldn't. I, I wish I could stay up all day and all night, um, which is which is a strange thing because. Um, Can't you I, take Red Bull? I, I've tried Red Bull. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't do it. Um, sorry, Red Bull. Um, so it, it's it's about it's about saying how can you create a space that is not. And I want to just talk about what you said is not a, a, a job that you love. Because I'm not sure it's the job that you love that keeps you uh, in a place that will give you that space that, that you're talking about. Okay. I, I think it's the connection with um, what you want to achieve from your life and making the connection between that, the purpose, that why that we're going to talk about and, and, and make that make sense in everyday life. If you haven't figured that out, you're just going to work for the money. Uh, or maybe you're going to work for the colleagues, or maybe you're going to work because... Your parents told you that that's the job is, you have to do because that's all society that, we were talking but, about. But how long did it take you to work that out? Because uh, a yeah. lot of people come out of university, they go, they go straight into their articles or the... Uh, and, and what's it, an internship? Yeah. And then and it almost just continues from there. There's no real other guidance. Maybe some of them get mentorship and they go a bit further, but how long did it take you to, to work that out? So um, I'm, I'm not sure that there's a, there's a time that we can say generally it would happen at about this time because sure. I think a lot of people actually go through the whole life not discovering it. Mm. Um, I, I, for me, it happened um, just after I turned 40. Um, and it came after a, a whole succession of exposure to life and business. Um, I, I was saying before that y y when you go through school, you don't really get exposure to the type of environment that gives you the ability to make the decision mm -hmm. on why you're necessarily here. 
Uh, I'm not sure that religion gives you that. I'm not sure that going to work gives you that. I think it's just it's just exposure to everything. Mm. It's it's exposure to how your parents brought you up. It's exposure to everything. And it's also, I think, having an inquiring mind because mm. from your story, it sounds like with, you've been asking yourself um, in uh, some uh, way, what is my reason? Why am I doing this? But, but not understanding what it is you're even asking for about. I think the magic is if you keep yourself busy, you never ask yourself the question. Mm. So I, I used to yeah. be a professional oarsman. I used to row night and day. And that is the magic. That sounds a bit... Uh, yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, more on that. So, so I, I, what, what, what happens is keep yourself busy and don't ask the question. Mm. But the second you stop being busy, the second you don't do that, that thing that keeps your mind occupied, you suddenly realize there must be more than this. There might, there's another mm-hmm. reason for life, perhaps. And, um, and that, those are the times that I've asked myself. You said, you know, yes. you've asked yourself. So every time if I go through my life and think, when did I start asking the question? It was when I had a bit of time to think. Um, mm-hmm. And when I had time to think, I was like, well, you know, why am I doing that? I actually left London. I was working in London. I left London when I was 22. And I went and did some ski seasons because I was like, well, you know, if I go to work today or if I stay in or if I'm sick or if I'm healthy or if I go skiing, it's all the same thing. So I'll go skiing. <laughs> and, 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 and off I went. And I did four ski seasons. Okay, so in, in there, they're doing all the jobs. And then some, at one point, you watched a video yes. that changed everything for you. Yeah. So, so I think that, that asking the question about what, why, what am I doing and, and what's, what's my why – um, I never answered it because there isn't actually a very easy answer. Mm-mm. So you go through that up and down of keeping busy and then asking yourself the question, being busy and asking. And, and, um, and w- when I was keeping myself busy, it was either sport or business, and business kept me very busy. Um, there were always problems to handle. So, so as, as my businesses grew and shrunk and, and, and I learned more about business, I started understanding uh, more about that environment, which I didn't really understand when I was in the bank, for example. You, know, that you, you get exposure to industry, but you, you don't really you don't get, get exposure to, to the challenges of business. And, um, and, and the more I got to understand business and the more I sort of struggled with the concept of business, the more I started to ask myself, well, I now know religion. And I studied quite a few religions. I now know sports. I've been through school. And now I've hit the final thing apart from marriage, which I have been through as well. Um, and I don't know anything else to explore. And I still don't know really what I'm here for. And, and, and that, was, that was really a, a tough time for me. Mm-hmm. I, I started getting a bit depressed. Not, not depressed, yeah. depressed. But I was like, what, 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 mm-hmm. where to from here, you know? So in that, we say you watched this video by Simon Sinek on yeah. a TED video. where he's, His whole philosophy is... Start with the why. Yes. And, you, and for you, that got you to finally sit down and answer that question. Yeah. And, and you and got in touch with your why. It was weird because actually it could have not been that video. Mm. But, but, but it happens. It just happened to be that and video. It's, it's, that it's it a great me. video. But we're going to put the link in, into the show notes if anyone wants to go and look for, for this TED video. Yeah. So, so the, the video basically talks about um, making sure that you don't just sell the what. Uh, you, you, you go deeper than that and you ask yourself why are you doing what you're doing then how are you going to do that and then what are you going to deliver so it's the how the, how, the why the how and the what um, but specifically the, starting with the why it's the why yeah. Mm. yeah the why gives you the purpose the, the why gives it, you the purpose and, mm. and, but you see, we, we use these words interchangeably yes. the why the yes. purpose and all that stuff but the why actually helped me because I was like why am I doing so, this so just briefly like one sentence what is your purpose then what, so, have you answered that question I, I, I answered it a number of times and the first time I answered it I realized that wasn't it. And then the second time, and eventually after going backwards and forwards and, and, and sort of trying to figure out what it was and actually writing it down, I eventually realized by looking at all the things I've done since I was, you know, left school basically, I, I, I wanted to achieve uh, some kind of a change or difference in the world. And mine was to substantially enhance the quality of people's lives. So I've done everything I possibly can without knowing it to enhance to, people's to lives, enhance to, try and, and to try and make them back, have a better quality of life. You can see every job, every, every everything, business, every everything thing you did was... Everything, was even the bank. When I was at the bank, every, every time so I went to see a client was to try and help them. Mm. So, Cindy, I just want to ask, ask you from, from your experience. You work yes. with a lot of people who are in their jobs and they, they're trying to go that next step or they're trying to change jobs or careers. I mean, is what we're talking about quite common, this... Oh, really don't know what I'm trying to do or I don't like the job I'm in. No, absolutely. Um, the, the action that you spoke of just now is, I, mean, I think we get on the treadmill and there are more and more demands and uh, our society is governed by performance and mm. acknowledging that rather than really 
exploring what's the meaning. What, is, what, what value could that person offer? Um, what do they want to offer? And I think when you get a little closer to what you want and what's meaningful for you, you then can drive your life a little bit more effectively as you've experienced and it's more satisfying. Um, but it's, it's that meaning. It's finding what's meaningful for you. So uh, it's just a different way and different words for the why yeah. question. And but I, as you I, said, the why asks a question. So it, it, it elicits an it, answer out of you or it's some reflection. It's very clever because it's not purpose. You see, when you define yeah. purpose, it's very scientific. The why is like, why? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and and, and that, that's really important. So How does that relate to passion, though? Because a lot of people are very good at a number of things. Uh, they've got their own interests. They've got... Um, yeah, they're, they're passionate and hobbies mm. even, but how do they translate that into something that, that almost drives them so that they can either enjoy the career um, or make something, a new path for themselves? You know, somebody could be good at something, but it's not necessarily what really lights them up. Um, and if there is career choice that's, that's part of the conversation, I always encourage people to, rather than just selecting what you're good at, and what everyone, because you imagine that because we're performance driven, um, you know, I've, we've got people saying, well, what, do you, what, are you gonna, what certificate am I going to get if I achieve this? Or what's, what's the external reference going to be? And I think we have to t go within ourselves. And, and it is that internal process, that, that internal reference, working out what's right for us. Um, and I suppose giving ourselves permission and taking the ownership that it is up to us and taking responsibility for our own lives. So I suppose there's the maturity level, together with a bit of experience and a bit of checking what, did it, what, what made the difference there and not there. Um, I think it's really knowing yourself as well. But I think absolutely. that's what you said, the maturity it comes yeah. with experience. I mean, you spoke of uh, earlier how you reached 40, and it was, that was the time when mm. it was almost like the light bulb went on and you'd been asking the question, but it was eventually answered. Personally, I know from experience I'm not quite there yet, right? but I haven't asked myself the questions like you have. Yeah. So I think it's actually just listening to yourself. Mm. And let me, let me just enhance that because, I, you know, when you, when you haven't been there, it's very difficult to imagine how to get there. Yes. Yeah. Um, mm. but, but if I can just explain, <laughs> discovering the why is not easy. I mean, you, you, you go down and you think, why? Well, because, you know, why do I eat? Because I'm hungry. But if you go, well, why do you get hungry? And you keep going down that chain, it starts asking questions that you never thought you would have to answer. And eventually you get back to the point where you've explored that space and you go back and you go, well, you know what? I've looked at it now and maybe that's what it is. And you come off that and you go, but it's not quite that. And then you have to move on. To get to that why is, is really difficult mm -hmm. because you're actually asking, why are we here? That's, that's mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and yeah. you, you, are, you start with why am I here? But you're actually ask, answering the question, why are we here? And that's, a, that's quite a hectic question to try and figure out. It was one of the questions we had, so that's kind of <laughs> <laughs> made it a bit more challenging for us. Yes, right. Why are we here now? Let's we try here? and get your brain to tell us <laughs> <laughs> so so how we can help others. I, I think that, and the difference that I want to make it clear as well is that people think that just, just figuring out their purpose is going to answer that question. But, uh, but it's not going to come that easily. Mm. Um, you, you, you know, someone can think because they're a doctor that they're there to help people. But that's not why they're there necessarily mm. they must look inside themselves to say mm. it's not just about helping people and fixing people's legs but there's a reason that they chose to be in that space and if they don't figure that one out then then life can be a bit of a dredge so, so one of the questions I was, I was wondering um it's obviously you know you you've both of you uh, what's the question <laughs> you've had so many so many experiences you've been exposed to so many industries mm. you've had high level jobs Jimmy you know I mean? you've you've very privileged mm. in your education, your upbringing, the, sure. the traveling and that. So what about, you know, people that, that are, we're talking about now, uh, cleaning the floor. Yeah. Um, can they find the same sense of meaning in, in the job? Because uh, the story that, that I'm referencing is um, the one in NASA. I don't know if mm. you've heard about the, the guys were walking around visiting NASA and they asked the guy who was literally sweeping the floor, like, so what's your, you know, wh what do you do here? And he says, no, I help put people on the moon. Mm. So he had found that he knew that his little contribution of cleaning the floor yeah. had that much meaning to him. I, I'm not sure that that's the why, though. I, th I think he's made a connection between why his job exists. But I'm not sure okay. that that answers the question as to his why. And I think that's really important to, to look at. It doesn't mean he hadn't, mm. but it's, no, in my view, it's likely no, that No, but that's that interesting. So, so it's almost like it, there's a difference between your life purpose and your job Absolutely. purpose. Absolutely. And it's only when those two things come together 
that work is not a chore. Mm. Um, and, and I'm lucky mm. I've achieved that. But I think maybe to answer your question, and I, I'm, I'm not educated in this space, so all I can say is it's an observation. I think if you look at Maslow's hierarchy, which talks about you know, the levels of, of comfort that you get to at different levels of, of survival, um, I think you can only really, really identify your why when you're moving up that Maslow's hierarchy. So if, if your next thing is to try and find shelter, I'm not sure you're wandering around trying to figure out the why, or may, maybe that's the right time to do it. You see, I've, I've not been there. Yeah. Um, when you're trying to find water, um, you might ask yourself the question, but I don't yeah, think you're yeah, going to yeah. answer it. I, I think what happens is as you become uh, more and more free in your thinking, um, more and more exposed to things that you only get exposed to mm. as you're up the, the top of, the, of, of the, that hierarchy, uh, yeah, as it's high it's up as you can go. Self-actualization and the personal development. It I mean, your highest be, level yeah. in Maslow, the, he refers to it as self-actualizing. I'm, I'm not sure that I'm self-actualizing because I think when you do that, you just yeah. disappear. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I think that's a little bit yeah, higher. But in, in, in that model, you're on the level that you he calls self-actualization. You need to have your basic needs met uh, yes. in order for you to suddenly, I think, start really harnessing... I don't know, your efforts into going where you exactly... So, yeah, so gonna, you're saying gonna, freeing up your time to, you to think really about it instead of being your core. Mm, busy think, rowing the whole day. That, and that, that's what I was saying. You know, if, it, when I was younger and I was doing sports, um, I didn't have time to think about why. I had to get to the point where I was like, what the hell is this all about? You know, I'm, I'm mm. going to work, I'm, I'm making money, I'm coming home, I'm paying the bills, I'm going back to work. You said it. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it, it's not why we're here. You know, it was, when we were cavemen, we didn't go to work and come home with a salary, so there's something else. And, but I wasn't, that wasn't really what drove me to ask the question. It was simply that I was running a business, I was, I was doing well, we were doing amazing things in the business, but when I saw that video and I realized I've got to figure out the company's why, and I, and I tried to figure out what the company's mm. why was. I realized that I actually figured, had to figure out my own why before mm. I figured out the company why. Mm. And, and that was the journey that, that happened. And the results, and I, I mean, I have to share the result with you, I guess, is um, I don't want to sleep. I don't want to eat. Um, I struggle in my relationship because my relationship comes second. Sorry, Slav. But <laughs> my, my, uh, my relationship comes second to work. Uh, it, it, it's because I've identified why I'm here. I don't feel like I'm working. I don't feel like I'm not working. It's just what I was here to do. Mm. And it's so strange because having got there, um, there's nothing that can stop me doing what I'm doing. Even when we have a bad day, it's a wonderful day. It's, it's the weirdest place I've ever been. And to do that in B consulting, seriously, I mean, you know, <laughs> if, if I'd done that as an it. artist or as some guy sitting on a mountain, I could have understood it. But, but you can do it anyway. It's, it's just you've got to make that connection with why you exist and make that connection to what you're doing. And as soon as you make the connection, suddenly... Well, who cares about everything else? Um, I wanted to ask, based on that, do you see a level of sacrifice in, in, in finding your why? Um, I see a level if that's, of if that's coming, a way of putting it. Yeah, I, I, I think I see a, um, uh, a challenge because once you do define your why and find a place to apply it, um, you're going to then not have balance in your life. And, <laughs> and that's where I am now. My next step yeah. is to try and figure out how I have balance in my mm. life while okay. living my passion. I mean, I live my passion. Mm. Um, I, I dream about work. When, I, when in my dreams, I'm dreaming about the things that we do. Um, and and I, I think the challenge is, how do I wake up in the morning and enjoy the stuff that is not that? Um, and how do I get a balance back mm. into my life? My, I mean, my poor girlfriend struggles because, and she's very understanding, but she, you know, I, I will stay at work four hours longer than I need to because I love it there. It just, it's not work. Mm. And, and it's not that I don't love her. It's just... <laughs> that's what I'm doing and, and, and how to get that balance back is my next challenge mm. I think so, so that's interesting but just going to Sunny so um, do you have any other things so the one qu thing for people to do to do this is to answer the question why so well, what we're hearing is is their personal why for, for mm. existing um, anything else you'd say that would help people find even a smidgen of that kind of passion for what they yeah I'm quite jealous of what you, <laughs> <laughs> you know there's a basic human need to be valued. There's a basic human need, I believe, to, to contribute. And um, I was dying to ask you the question whether it's the contribution or the value, um, or both, or neither, that in fact is part of the experience for you. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a question I haven't been asked, so uh, maybe I should think about it, but the immediate answer would be it's neither. Okay. Um, I don't need anything. Uh, there's no present someone can give me at my birthday, which means anything to me anymore. Um, you, you can give me <laughs> seriously. You can, you can give me a pen. You can give me nothing. Mm. Just come, and yeah. and, and it, that's a really weird okay. place to be because it's not for anything else apart from f for me. I, okay. I'm doing what I want to do, and 
and nothing else really matters. Yeah. It, it, and that's maybe selfish now, but th that's where it is. Um, and uh, I, I would say there's no value that I can put to it. There's, there's, there's no return I can mm. put on it. As long as I can do what I do every day mm. and I can create a space to do it without limitation, but that's what I want to th do. The value you're getting, so what you're doing is to... How did you word enhance other people's so substantially enhance the quality of people's lives quality yeah. of people's lives mm. so isn't that interesting that that what drives you is helping others in yeah. in, in a way and I found and you so don't need a pen or you know yeah, acknowledgement I, I, or no. anything else. so it's it's a very intrinsic high level mm. um, value no absolutely so we would talk talk about it in in understanding the the frames of mind but start World War Three in South Africa. And I would probably drop way out of that and start surviving with a rifle. And I wouldn't be considering my wife. I, that's what I was saying. Yes. I, I'm yes. only so there because the space because that I've created you, allows hmm. us. Yeah. So, so then what I'm hearing is, is one is answer, asking ourselves the question why, and, but creating the space in order for us to do mm. that reflection. So, so working at getting our, our needs me met, you know, so we know we've got food coming in and with our water, as you were saying, in the house. Yes. How, do, but how does that work for, I mean, you've started your own business, Cindy, you've as well, mm -hmm. but for the, your average employee, what is, what is a, a step that they can perhaps take? Because mm. not if everyone is in maybe place. in that space mm. and th they may not be uh, mentally ready, they may not be mature enough, fair enough, but uh, if they start asking the question, why, what kind of little steps can they take? perhaps to either make their, more, their job more meaningful um, or perhaps even change jobs? I mean, how does, how does one go about that? So, you know, in the coaching space, we talk about, you know, there's that doing and there's the being. And we imagine that we are what we do. And then somebody loses their job and mm. their whole identity is stripped yeah. away. It's, yeah. you know, mm. monks and Ferraris and all those references. Um, so I suppose... It's the journey into oneself to actually understand that beingness, that nothing else, nothing can shake you really. Mm. Um, but how can you take that? For, for me, my why is to inspire people to, to be courageous enough to follow that why um, mm. so that there's meaning in what they do. Okay. And, and I would challenge you on that to say that's a place that you've got to. Mm. It, it might need to be looked at more, even. Oh, absolutely, and, it's a journey, and, 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 and that's so, the thing. So yeah. suddenly, there's so many it's layers the, to it, and, and it's you only started, and then you you've got to get to that base thing. If that is the base thing, it's great. But while what I want to explain to people, if if there's uh, you know whoever's listening, is who, it's not about the first thing, the second thing, the third thing, or the fourth thing you get to. It's the thing you get to eventually, where you just go, that's it. That's it. It yeah. just was. That's it. You know, you can't change one yeah. word in my why because mm. that's and, it. And yeah. you can see the evidence of from it when you look mm. back yeah. on your life. Everything you've done. Everything mm. I've done has been part of yeah. that. But I, because I didn't know what my why was, I was kind of doing it. So what's mm. interesting is like, so maybe we are actually all doing it. Yeah, possibly. But, but what's different, what I hear is you are conscious now of your why that is driving you doing it so your experience of it is, is that much more pleasurable yes and then you the have more passion yep. yeah comes out it's, it's all so in there you have more energy yeah. around it more focus yeah. more enjoyment and yeah. so that to me is exciting that we, may, we actually might all be mm. living but our also, purpose but also I mean my bet is that it makes you more aware about your surroundings completely around you mm. and you will probably learn a lot more about others yeah I mean you're now at a point where you're looking at balance in your life mm. in a seemingly really fantastic situation already some people may never get there so it's I think you asked a question though which we haven't answered what, what about the person who's not an, uh, uh, the owner of their own business people think that it's you've got to become the owner of your own business to mm -hmm. achieve this and it's not true S entrepreneurship is only for s very limited number of people mm. um, and people who have very specific skill sets so um, so to take a person who is not ready to be an entrepreneur because it mm -hmm. might be that you're too early or just to take someone who just shouldn't be an entrepreneur because you don't have the, 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 the certain skills that you need um, and say that you will only achieve this as the owner of your own business I think is wrong. I, I think that you can achieve it in a job. I think you can achieve it in a, in a place that someone else has created but you can only achieve it where there's freedoms. So mm. if someone gives you a job and says right stack that pile of paper from that side to that side I'm not sure you're going to achieve the why and the connection with your job. There's Fordism, which has basically broken down the freedom and put you into sort of one thing of moving one unit from there to there. Not sure you can connect that with your why. Maybe it's possible. Or, or maybe, so, but, but, 
but maybe maybe like that guy who's sweeping the floor at NASA. We don't know, like if he was connected, so, yeah. so maybe he wanted to advance technology in, in the human, you know, perspective. Yes, and but he didn't have the skills. Or the, but he wasn't broken down to moving yes. a unit from. He had the freedom, and and there's a fantastic there's a fantastic okay. definition for a game. It's freedom within barriers towards a certain purpose. <laughs> so, you, as yeah. long as you've got freedom, mm. defined barriers and a certain purpose, it defines every game in, in the world, from mm. darts to golf to everything. So, so there's got to be rules. There's got to be rules that you play mm. within. But if the rules are too tight, like sit in this box, you know, within the boxes, like right, but there's no game there because after a while you're like, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the purpose: survive as long as possible. Okay, this is now enough. You know, there's got to be a big enough space to play, and that's the freedom. The freedom allows you. To, to to play that part to, to, to realize the why as well. Would you say that you've gone beyond the, the, the parameters of any game though? No, definitely not. not. I, I'm definitely living within parameters. I can't fly yet. Um, you know, there's a, uh, there are certain parameters. Right, Gravity still has a hold. You know, uh, I can't walk through walls. There, there, there are certain mm. barriers that you have to live with. We live on this planet. We in bodies. Mm. You can only use certain things. So it, it's about saying um, uh, how with what I've got and with the tools that are around me mm. and, 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 and the restrictions around me, what can I do to exercise my why? And, um, and there's got to be that purpose, and the purpose mm. is the why. I just so want to pick up on, link. on one thing. I, know I see we're running yes. into some time uh, to 8 o'clock. You mentioned that you shouldn't, not everyone can, can be an entrepreneur, and you, you can't really tell people that, no, you can't do it, although I think society does place a lot of restriction on you, but then that's where life experience comes in because if you tell me I can't be an entrepreneur, chances are I will certainly try. I may fail, but then I've added mm. on some level to my own life experience and then, sure, I may not succeed in that, but I might try other avenues and yeah. take it from there. So, so, I mean, so that's also quite important. I think it's important mm. also, it's not that you're not an entrepreneur, maybe you're not an entrepreneur yet. Yeah. So I, I, think, I think you, like I was not ready to be an entrepreneur at 18 or 20. I, I, I didn't have enough guts and knowledge to go and do anything i didn't even know how to find a market and supply it with what it needs yeah. um and i think that's what you need as a mm. base skill is, is is you've got to understand how to do that otherwise and then it comes you're going to fail, fail, fail it comes yeah. from experience yeah. so it's not that you're yeah. not going to be an entrepreneur I, I do think there are some people who will not achieve entrepreneurship uh, in their lifetime and i think that if they try they will fail and move back into an employee's position so i don't i really don't think everyone can be an entrepreneur yeah. because is everyone's that's purpose not necessarily is such a bad thing though no yeah. it's not about someone has to work for, for <laughs> well, the well, entrepreneur yeah. but if you're able to find your why and and your and why work. is not necessarily uh, that may not be or it'll be different for everyone yeah. Yeah. their why could be their family they could uh, yeah. um, yeah. you know absolutely it, it, it could be so varied yeah. their why could ways. be sports their why could be mm. I don't know going into the Congo to find the next uh, disease uh, yeah. cure or something I mean the why is going to drive yeah. what they do but if, the, if, if that connection is there then it doesn't matter if the money comes or doesn't come. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, you'll, so you'll, you'll make a plan. It'll, it'll happen. Mm. Mm. Just to, to wrap up, what are some, mm. there's something you want to add? Or? Just a, f a final thing for me. My business reference is marketing, and I think it's all about the marketing. It's about um, knowing what the market wants. You are the market in, in a sense, but it's also repackaging. It's, it's working out what worked for you, what didn't, and what elements you want to include in that ideal. So it's all those ingredients, all those essences that, that speak to you as you experience different things. And it's to find something mm. that pulls it all together. Um, so, so the repackaging, package. if I can piggyback on a marketing <laughs> term, um, for me, if you can find a couple of things and how you marry it, be it sport and, and travel and or be and it And that maybe yeah. the repackaging will then be what, what puts it all mm. together for you, gives you that aha moment, this is it. Yeah, and I think, I think and you've got to keep on asking yourself the question, mm. what is my why? Because mm. I don't think you necessarily get it at 18 or 20 or 40. I don't think and that, that, that is an age. Yeah. As well. so it, change, you're right. And, or the depth of it might, might come up as, as you have more experiences. So we definitely heard like some of the, the benefits are just enjoying your work and, oh. and, <laughs> and some of the, the benefits are new challenges of balancing everything. That's the next Because <laughs> now challenge. you've got so much, so much energy. Choice. Um, <laughs> but what about, yeah, so, so that there's lots of great reasons for it. Um, any, any other reasons you want to add about, you know, they would encourage people to go and ask, ask themselves that question, what is their why? Well, a personal awareness is, in fact, the starting point for anything, for, for, for personal growth, for management development, for leadership development, if we're speaking in the business context. So it's an awareness. It's going 
inside and working out. If, if you really listen to yourself and just be quiet and stop, <laughs> we've, we don't listen to ourselves mm. enough. Yeah, I think it's important it's that too you too busy. Yeah. Our lives are too busy. There's too much noise and clutter. So we need to just stop. Maybe if I can just say like, one last thing as yes, well. Like, one last thing. I never understood what, how someone could go and start a dive shop in Antigua. It sounds amazing until you're there. And then it's kind of a little bit same thing over and over. And I never understood how someone could do that. Um, mm -hmm. I always thought, you know, how do you make your money? How do you go on, how do you go on overseas mm -hmm. holidays? How do you support your family? It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. if, if that's what it is that you need to do, if, if you identify that the why is to do whatever you're doing and the money is irrelevant, then that's where you should be. And, 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 and your expectations of, of wealth will adapt mm. because you don't it doesn't matter mm. it's, it's, mm. it's irrelevant what car you drive how much money you have is irrelevant if you're just doing the thing that connects you or the, the thing that drives you and the thing that you do if those are connected then you wake up in the morning in a, in a camper van as, and with no petrol uh, smelling like a dog you know if, if, <laughs> but, but you're happy as, on a, your face as a nutter ever. You know, <laughs> because I think that, 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 that yeah. at that time mm. that is right for you and, and, and I think that that happiness can only come from, from a, achieving a link between what you do and, and, and what your why is I think, I think that's really important yeah so great. Well, um, on that note, I think we're going to end off by saying, yeah, you don't forget that you can find out more about this week's guests on our website. Just put in like Let's Talk Possibility into your search engine and you'll find all our contact details. And also, if you want to express yourself and tell us more about what your why is or your journey and, and if you have any questions to, <laughs> to keep this conversation going, do get in touch with us on Facebook and, or tweet us um, at LT Possibility. We'd love to hear more about your why. And all that. Next week, we're going to be exploring conviction. We're having mm. chats about what, how can we be more convicted in what we're doing. I think it might be a follow nicely after tonight's talk. <laughs> yes, it's going <laughs> to, to listen and then to go forward. So, yeah. But until then, so from me, Talan, and all of us here on Let's Talk Possibility, have a great week exploring and asking yourself why.